I'm Tom Rebecki, and I'm here in my uh, barn today at the private shop in Hillsburg, California. We have the great honor and pleasure of having Jerome Harris, New York area uh, bassist and musician extraordinaire, out to uh, demonstrate his uh, Vega model halfling bass that he's been playing for a few years now. Has some great experience with it, and uh, Jerome, for those of you who don't know his background, is uh, on the road an awful lot. He's a, a tremendous player, plays with Jack DeJanet, uh, plays with Sonny, has history with Sonny Rollins. Uh, really a musician's musician, and uh, he's here to talk about his halfling bass and demonstrate what he's been able to accomplish with this instrument. So welcome uh, to, the, to the Blues Barn, uh, Jerome. We're pleased to have you here. Thanks. To the thanks. Jazz Barn today, actually. You know? Well, the, the everything music barn. Thank you. I'd like to thank you that a lot of music emanates from here. Uh, it's a great honor to have you here, and um, I think it was originally about three years ago we built this instrument for you, from what I remember, yep. and uh, you had uh, one of the five-string version of the halfling bass, and uh, this is what we came up with. This is the Bobby Vega model instrument. It is a, uh, set up like an arch top instrument with a tailpiece and a separate bridge unit. And, uh, you know, so we were talking about the differences between this, and, and since you travel so much and you play with so many different artists, um, the ver role of this instrument as uh, sort of a stand-in for the uh, for the for the stand-up bass, or somewhere between the two sounds, uh, what do you think about that? Well, I I love it. You know, it's it's great for me as a bass guitarist to have an instrument that fits with a lot of the music that I gravitate towards, which happens to be jazz and jazz related styles. Um, this bass functions great with acoustic instruments, with other acoustic instruments, you know, because it is an acoustic instrument and, and it has that, that sense, it, its tone has that character of a vibrating box. Um, you know, even through an amplifier it has that character and um, it, it has this nice overtone filled warm enveloping timbre uh that supports bands really well i mean i most of what i do is playing with bands i play with you know drums and piano and saxophones and trumpets and voice and flute and percussion and what have you as as, as we bass players tend to do and um so having an instrument that has a voice that's not unlike double bass, but happens to be the size and type of instrument that I can play, since I don't play double bass, it's really a blessing for me. And, and it's a bunch of fun. It, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, for instance, playing walking bass lines on, on this thing. You know, I mean, I walk on solid body bass also, but the attack and decay and the bloom of the notes on, on the Vega really, really works great, you know. you about this instrument it's a little bit of an unusual look put the sound hole up in the upper all all the time right. all the time people come up and say you know what what is that thing you know it sounds like an upright but you know you've, you've got it strapped on you know what what is it and and it's always fun to you know to to introduce them to the joys of acoustic bass guitar and particularly of of yours you know um, I think just the just the visual beauty of the design seems to intrigue a lot of people. Well, thank you. You know, it's, it's uh, when Bobby would, and I were working together to develop the voice on this instrument, Bobby would refer to this as a downright. He would say, this is not an upright, it's a downright. 
and only those of you who know Bobby would uh, know that that's a Bobby expression. Uh, but uh, it's great to see it successfully crossing into that world of, of jazz and other musical types. Uh, we really built it with that in mind. Like I say, it's such an honor to have you in my shop playing my instruments. I'm just uh, I'm touched every time I, I think of, of you making music on this, on this instrument. Oh, well, it's a joy. It's a joy. Thank you. Thank you for bringing this thing into the world.